kind of low swear, but in this time we have a proper nice laptop to repair. HP, Ryzen 5 and Radeon Graphics. This is like brand new laptop. So definitely we can say this is a nice laptop. Now the customer letter, the laptop is coming from a computer business. Hi Sorin, I have a new HP Pavilion which has been on the shelf for a year. I managed to install the OS but will not charge 0% and randomly the screen will go black. One mount out of the HP warranty. Are you happy to take a look? Yeah, yeah, we are all happy. Now this is a weird fault. I cannot see any connection between laptop not charging with uh, randomly the screen it will go black so uh, either it's like some new fault which i never met before or actually we have two different faults on this laptop i will say let's plug a charger and see what it's doing we need a hp blue pin charger yeah we have it good 19 volts this laptop need like a bunch of amps uh, let's raise the current yeah plug in the charger it's doing nothing plug in no nothing no dead pressing the power button yeah, the laptop is starting, but it's not charging at all, not even 10 milliamps. And yeah, probably the bio got, got reset because the battery has no, no power on it. Yeah, CMOS reset. I will say, let's first uh, see what happening with the, what is happening with the charging. Just give me like one minute to open the laptop. And the laptop, it's open. One uh, Wi-Fi antenna is not plugged in there. Hmm. So somehow... Oh lord, it's only one Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, the Wi-Fi antenna is back in place. So here we have the white light on the charger. Let's see the battery voltage. So the battery has, I'm assuming this is the MOSFET which is feeding the battery, plus of the battery here, and we have 8.8. .8. Wait one second. No, the battery is 11.3, check here. Yeah, so the battery is discharged. Uh, on this point, wait, let me unplug the charger. Without the charger, the battery has 0 volts. So on this point, you have to figure it out if it's an issue with the battery or actually the, the laptop is not charging the battery. So I'm going to come with the power supply, lowering the voltage, lowering the current. And let's push some uh, current into the battery. Minus and plus here. And no, the battery is not taking current. This is unexpected. No, nothing. Battery is dead. So, uh, you see, you see, I'm pretty sure this battery is good. But just because the, the battery was, like for one year, not used, the battery is just getting locked in itself. Now, what I'm asking myself is, the fuse is burned, the cells are dead, or what happened inside of the battery? Can be fixed without the NLBA? That's my question. And for that, what we can do, we have to do like a small incision. We, we have three cells, not sure where we can do the incision. Because we need access to the board, and the board most likely is here. Hmm. Okay, let me do some magic here. 
Yeah, it has plastic lips, so uh, no small surgical incision this time. And we have access to the battery. Beautiful. So what we are checking first? The fuse. Mm -hmm. um, we can measure the fuse with the multimeter. But, you know, I prefer to pop up the cover and check inside. And yeah, the fuse is burned. You can see the fuse is burned? Yeah. So basically they are they are using this as a heated fuse. Heated? Anyway, anyway, the, the fuse has a heater. And here is supposed to be solder and they put flux over the solder. This thing is flux. When the fuse is blowing up, you see, the solder it will retract on one side and the other side and here. Yeah. So this fuse is burned. Before soldering the fuse, I want to check the cells. Because we can have a surprise, we are charging the cells and uh, the BQ chip, because this one, it will blow up the fuse again. The BQ chip, it will use the voltage from the cell. It will send voltage to the heater, the heater it will heat up and it will melt the solder. Minus plus, we have 8.8 .8 volts, which is a decent amount of voltage. I mean, it's not even like over discharge. I can't see any reason why the BQ chip blow up that fuse. Let's push some current into the cells. Yeah, taking 400 milliamps, we need more current. Yeah, the battery is charging with 3 amps, check that. And the voltage is going up. From what I see, like we have on the other side, 11.5, uh, the battery has low resistance. That means this battery is good. It's not like, you know, our used battery. No, check that. You can see. And the voltage is going up. Good. Let's solder the fuse. Now, in order to repair the fuse, all you have to do is to do the bridge again. Yeah, this bridge. Be sure you have flux because uh, in case something happens and the BQ chip want to blow up this fuse again, uh, flux it will make the solder retract on sides. Now, if we rebuild the fuse, that means we have plus and minus here. We have voltage actually at the output of the battery. Let's see. So at the, at the output of the battery, minus and plus, and we have zero volts. Ha! <laughs> Can't believe. Check that, nothing. Yeah, so we fix the fuse, but the battery is still locked. Now, where the battery is locked, or what the lock means? The lock is actually the MOSFETs not passing uh, the current or the voltage from one side to the other. So check here. Here we have zero, 10 volts, you can see. 10 volts. After the first MOSFET, we have 10 volts and after the last mosfet we have zero so basically if i will short the mosfet the battery will supply current at the output the only problem is the bq chip is already set up like okay this battery is locked and the, the battery it will not charge so we have to unlock this battery just let me grab the nlba and maybe we can fix the battery. I'm curious about the health of the battery. So we have the NLBA uh, um, analyzer. I'm gonna plug this. Yeah, we, had, we need four wires. Let me bring the software on screen. Okay, the software is on screen. Uh, start reading and I'm gonna connect the wires. Very simple, we have minus. And basically, what we need log and data, we don't need plus if we don't want to charge the battery. Yeah, clock and data. I mean, not sure where they are, but I can just you know try and plug and see if it's uh, if the battery is detected. Nothing, I think we need the plus also. Not sure about that, so we connect the plus and we have to power on the battery power on that's mean um, 
the NLBA it will uh, send voltage to the board. <gasps> My fuse blow up again, I can't believe. Ah, you seen that? You seen the smoke? Yeah, so soon as we came with the voltage, the BQ chip blow up the fuse. Yeah. I mean, the NLBA is outputting 6 volts. That's all. 6 volts, you can see. Yeah. Yeah, that means the BQ chip knows the battery is locked and it will not allow the battery to be charged. That's what happened there. And check there, we, we uh, match the wires and the battery is locked. We have a bad balance on one cell. Okay, let's see on which cell we have a bad balance. And you'll say, yes, sorry, and that's, the, that's why the BQC blow up the, because the one cell is, is, is bad. No. That cell voltage is lower because most likely the BQ chip used the voltage from one cell in order to blow up that fuse. Yeah, that's why. So this one, you can't see the voltage, no. 3.5, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. Three point five, yeah, three point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, good. Let's come with some current. Let me make this bigger. So, if you check what he's saying, he's saying the battery has one cycle. You can see, cycle count one. So this is a brand new laptop. Capacity, of course, is zero. Health of the battery. Check that. Check the health. This is a brand new battery. You can see the health. The manufacturer date is 2023. Yeah, this is a brand new laptop with a brand new battery. And the battery is dead. Yeah, so the middle cell is about 3.4. Let me take this wire and the voltage is going up to 3.6. Okay, I have to discharge this cell uh, more. Instead of charging the other two cells, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just discharging the middle one. Just to balance the cell. You can see now he's saying it's balanced. Battery is still locked. I'm looking to solder back the fuse. Good, so we rebuild the fuse again. Yeah, power off, reset. Hmm. It's a no firmware. Okay, let's try this one. Unseal. Clear chip errors, let's see if it's working. Errors clear, reach in info. Yeah, something changed, but not sure. Seal exit boot. Let's see if the battery is unlocked. And battery info. Yeah, power off. It's, it's unlocked. Check there. So the battery is unlocked, has a bad balance. Start charging. Charging the battery. So check here. You can see it's pushing current. Probably like five ten minutes, the cells should be should be balanced. Okay, the balance is good. Uh, the battery is unlocked. Uh, I think we are ready to try the battery onto the laptop to see if it's charging. Huh? What do you think? Battery is back in place. Let me bring the laptop. Plug in the battery. Plug in the charger, 70 milliamps, 1.6 amps, 1.7. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that?
Now again, yeah, this is a battery with one, yeah, once cycle count. <laughs> Brand new battery. We do have the orange light here. Let's power on the laptop. Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. I think I will need more current. Okay, so uh, you will ask, sorry, okay, but what about the screen black and white? This uh, battery issue, it will fix the problem? Probably not. I believe um, what they seen like randomly switching the screen black and white, uh, white um, it was Windows uh, installing drivers. That's what I believe. Because the customer said um, he installed a new Windows. Because otherwise I can't see any reason why the screen it will turn uh, black and white on a brand new laptop. Yeah, this is a brand new laptop. Yeah, first I thought, you know, yeah, this is a second hand laptop and they keep it in, in shelf. But no, this is a brand new laptop. Yeah, so the battery it is charging. We have 18% available and it's saying plugged in. Nineteen percent. You see the battery is charging. Let's wait for the percentage of the battery to goes up. Twenty percent. Okay. So um, the laptop is charging fine. Shutting down the laptop. Let's see the charging current again. Yeah, the laptop is off and the charging current is one point seven amps. Now I'm gonna test more the laptop. I believe the laptop has no issue apart from the battery. But anyway, like always, yeah, like always, I will leave a link on the description about the NLBA if you are looking to buy something like that. And uh, I will say see you on the next one. Yeah, bye.